Hi, my name is Sakaya, and I'm going to be providing you with an explanation of the LMNA gene. Now, the LMNA gene provides instruction to the cell on the transcription of lamina proteins. Now, these proteins provide structural support to the membrane of the nucleus within the cell. There are four different structures of the LMNA gene. Here's the um, first, secondary, tertiary, and then quaternary. Now, for my research, the LMNA gene is mostly a comprised of, or what looks like a quintary structure. This can also be called a tripartite structure. And what it means is that it just takes the four different structures, the first, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary, and combines it. And it's kind of like a ball of different um, strands of the LMNA gene. Uh, from my research, I found that the functional domains of the LMNA gene include the central alpha rod, um, the um, globular tail, um, and the short in terminal head. They, I didn't find a lot of different information on the function of these domains, but I hope that giving you the names of these domains will help you to further your research. There isn't a lot of research being, there is a lot of research being conducted on LMNA because of the progeria genetic condition that's associated with LMNA. And some people believe that it's because there is a binding substance that presses the, the lamina protein um, to the, uh, the structural basis of the nucleus membrane to keep it from collapsing and keeping the uh, water that makes up the cytosol of the cell membrane from leaking in. Um, what else? So of course you asked about the, uh, the molecular comp composition of the LMNA gene. Um, proteins are generally comprised of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and nitrogen. I hope that this helped you out and good luck with your research.